Hello everybody, my name is Gani. Today we're going to learn about how to sync from Microsoft Office Outlook to Google Calendar. So the first thing you need to do is to Google Outlook, Google Calendar Sync. Hmm. And look for the one that has the GitHub. I'll put the URL in the description below. Click on it and this would be the page so this is the icon for it so let's download this you can download the setup the stable version or the beta i'm going to download the uh, stable version so what is what this particular application does it, it sits in the taskbar and it would then sync from your outlook which is in your machine your laptop and to the google calendar so it syncs periodically. You could set the timer how long you want to sync. So set up, it's been downloaded. Let's try to set it up right now. And the minimum requirement for you is to have Microsoft Outlook 2003 onwards to 2016. So let's talk about how cool this app is. So this app sits in the taskbar and what you can do, it syncs your Google Calendar, including meeting attendees, reminders, subject description, location, everything about the calendar it's able to sync to your google from outlook to your google calendar so it's able to sync either one way or bi-directionally so it can sync both ways as well and the best part about this is if you are in a corporate environment and typically a corporate environment your pc will be locked by the it admin and this doesn't require an it administration password so it can be sitting in your taskbar running without it support which is kind of cool it saves me a lot of time. So it's been downloaded and it's a pretty small file. Let's start to open it. So what you need to do is to run the exe. Just click on it. You'll see a splash screen coming up soon. There you go. And there seems to be a continuous development on this particular application. So I think that's about it. So there's no setup like next, next, next kind of button. So it's there. So you just click on it. It should be the taskbar and also it should be in your, what do you call this tray? Maybe be using Mac for too long. Uh, okay, so what you need to do is once you land, uh, once you open up the app, it will give you step-by-step -step instruction, meaning on the Outlook tab, you need to select the calendar which you sync. And on the Google tab, you need to select the calendar which you need to synchronize. Now, here, here's the thing. Uh, my advice is, is it's best for you to go into the Google calendar and create a new calendar just for the Outlook. So it much, it's much cleaner. So for instance, um, I can go into my calendar right now and I can say I want to choose a new calendar. So I can just say create a new calendar and I will call it Outlook. And yep, just create the email account for my organization. Okay, calendar is done. So you have here something called Outlook. So, okay, let's get back to the settings and this is Outlook here. Let me give uh, it a blue shade so I know it's Outlook. Okay, let's go back to the app. So that's done. And what you need to do, let's go to the settings. And if this is the first time, you will need to authorize it in your Google Calendar. Yes, so if this is the first time, you need to authorize by retrieving. And let's do just that. So let's go to settings. So, so let's have a look at the settings. So this is your Outlook tab. So I would choose the default tab here. Or you could choose a shared calendar if you have a shared mailbox. And I think uh, you, it has the capability of filtering the categories. So, so you can actually pick what kind of appointments that you want to sync. So if your appointments are color coded, it's able to sync to that. So that's pretty much, I'm going to keep it for default. How about Google? So as you can see, when you first time you, you're using this particular app, the account connected will say not connected. So how do we get connected? Click on retrieve calendars. It will pop up Google Sync and you request what, which Google account that you want to sync to. So I'm going to sync to my corporate account and it will ask for permission. Click on allow. Verification code received. You may now close the window. So which means it's a good sign that you can proceed to the next step. So if you can just close on this window and then you open up the app and you should see the account, connected account would be the email, Google email account that you have connected much earlier. So let's retrieve calendar. Uh, I don't think so. So you could see the select calendar. 
now you can get to choose which calendar you want to sync which google calendar you want to sync and i'm going to choose my outlook so so this is important why you needed to create the google calendar earlier before you try to sync into this account you can do it uh post as well after post connecting to this by clicking on the retrieve calendar function so now let's go to the sync option so you can create you can in in terms of synchronization there's two there are few choices like i mentioned earlier so you could sync from outlook to google or google to outlook or bidirectionally you can sync both ways to me my case study is because i have i'm using outlook for work and i want to sync my outlook calendars to google so i could have a single place where i could see my work calendar and my personal calendar in one screen and i prefer to choose google for this rather than populating my work calendar with my personal stuff so since i could have a dedicated uh, calendar in my google which i could then choose to for instance i could just tick off by you know i could just make the whole uh, google my my work calendar disappear from here so which is much much easier compared to working on google and i can have my personal calendar here in the same view so let's go back to the app so i would choose to sync from outlook to google only one way and i can have the choice to merge with existing disable deletion so now this is this is important whereby you want to enable deletion and you want to uncheck confirm deletion the reason being is if you were to delete something in your outlook you want it to be able to delete in your google calendar because this is a one way uh sync so it does make sense for you to have it deleted in your google calendar you can set it as private or and free and you can even color code it if you want to okay that is what is in terms of the synchronization option in terms of how so next question is when when do you want to sync so in the date range means one day on the previous from today onwards the one day before yeah one day before one day after one day before yeah or and how far in the future that you want to sync meaning that 60 days i would typically keep it maybe 30 days i think that's fine enough uh how often do you want to schedule it and there's a choice between hours and minute uh since my cal calendar is not uh you know it doesn't change so frequently i would just sync it for one hour i think that's good enough or even two hours is fine yeah and i would check on push outlook changes immediately so meaning that whenever there's a change in my outlook calendar it would then auto sync into my google, google calendar now let's click on what uh pretty much i would just leave this here attribute to include a location description attend this if you want to um reminder i think i'll just you no i don't need a reminder i'll just keep it there because i'll i usually go with my outlook reminder if there's any meetings um i think that's about it and you click on save make sure you click on save and application behavior the last tab uh yeah you can i think this pretty much straightforward you can hide this the splash screens which i don't want to not sure oh i need to donate in order to hide all right uh start in tray minimize the taskbar uh, once it load uh close with terminating i mean these are pretty much basic function so if you have a proxy setting in your organization you could enter them here all uh, right and you can see even it it started to sync and this is the the pop up notification each time when it does a sync it will tell you how many be created how many deleted how many be updated i find even started syncing <laughs> it does it automatically so that's kind of cool so let's go to the sync so this is where you will see the log report of each activity during the synchronization so you can it will tell you when it started to sync and how was the direction what did it find and uh, what did it do so sync with success and you can see the next schedule is uh 2 hours from now uh so that's pretty cool so let's try to see how it works in the in the outlook calendar right so if i go back to my outlook uh, it's pretty empty right now so let's say i want to create an appointment today so since tomorrow is a holiday i might have a breakfast with kevin So I'm going to set it my breakfast time for about 9 to probably 1 hour with Kevin and I'm going to save and close it and I'm going to have another appointment in the evening 
playtime with my son so that is probably in the evening maybe 4 p.m to 5 p.m and i'm gonna i want to keep it there okay so in my calendar right now you can see there's two appointments for tomorrow now uh let's jump to my google calendar and you see it's it's empty right now okay so i could wait for two hours or i could just click on the application and say start sync so it, it already you can see that you found two calendars and two calendars google calendars as entries has been created uh, you can see those entries what are these so th this particular application it's free it's free of charge and it works so good i'm impressed by it so let's go back to my google calendar and voila you see both at outlook and if i were to uh, if i were to uncheck the my outlook calendar and it disappears so it's pretty much clean that you could manage uh, your work calendar and your personal calendar in one single calendar so it, it, it's really cool so that is about it it's that simple actually and so that's about it about uh, how you could sync from your outlook to google and vice versa and if you wish to have uh, if you'd like to follow more tech on application reviews don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like this video and do read for comment if you want me to review any applications out there or you have comments or questions about anything else in terms of text and application, I'll be happy to answer that. So until then, goodbye.